Hi guys, welcome to Till Vacuum Do Is Part. If you're new, my name is Ashley, and I'm really excited to film a How We Homeschool today because I have been getting tons of comments asking me to do so. I did do this last year, and so I can link that for you guys if you wanna see just the changes we made and different things we do. This is also a collab with Becky from A Place to Nest, and I'm gonna let her introduce herself right now. Hey everybody, my name is Becky. I am a stay-at-home mom slash homeschooling mom of two girls. I have a 14-year-old and an 8-year-old. So this year I'm homeschooling 9th grade and 3rd grade. We've been homeschooling now for about five and a half years. We have a fur baby named Loki and a guinea pig named Bean. And I love sharing videos on my channel about basically making your life better, healthier, happier. So I talk a lot about cleaning, organization, parenting, mom life. I do a lot of homeschooling videos, so curriculum reviews and schedules and how to grade. And it's really interesting for me because I do have such a big age gap. I'm homeschooling a high schooler this year and then I've got a third grader. So a lot of variance there, but I think I'm learning a lot with my oldest and kind of hopefully gonna be able to pass that down to whatever I do with my youngest. So I'm always talking about homeschooling. I talk about Disney a lot on my channel. We are a Disney family and go every year. So if you like videos about cleaning and organizing and homeschooling and stay at home mom life and exercising and everything in between. So if that is something you'd like to see, then definitely hop on over to my channel and visit me after you get done watching Ashley's video. And hopefully you'll see lots of other videos that you really like and you subscribe and become part of my YouTube channel family. See you guys soon. She is a really sweet homeschool mama, as you can tell. So definitely when you're done watching my video, head on over to hers and watch hers. And if you subscribe, please let her know I sent you. Now let's get into how we homeschool. Savannah likes keeping her morning work in her backpack and she keeps that by her bedroom door. So when she's ready for school, she'll put on her backpack and then walk down the hallway into the homeschool room. And that's just a visitor tug. He's my parents' dog, but he isn't always here if you're new. And then once she goes into, this is like my beauty room slash office. So I do a lot in here, but we also do homeschool. So this is what we consider her morning work. And I really like Spectrum. A lot of this I could probably get through my father's world because that's who we use. But I like these workbooks better. And so she'll begin working on these by herself. Now I'm typically in the room getting ready or working on my computer. I'm nearby, so if she has any questions, I can help her and get her started. So the day that we film this is on a Thursday, which to us, that is our Friday. I do four day homeschool weeks, and that's kind of how my father's world is set up. Now they do have a few things to do on Friday as you get older, or they're just extra, you don't have to do them. And so our spelling test is on Thursday and I like just doing four days a week. That's one of the reasons that I picked my father's world. And then when she is finished, I like to grade her work immediately. I don't want to put it off because then I'll forget to do it and life gets busy. So as soon as she finishes a worksheet or a test, I immediately grade it. And then I had picked these stamps up from a garage sale from a prior teacher and she loves them. And so I stamp it and give it back to her and she puts it in her backpack. Um, and then in the evenings when my husband gets home, he checks it and looks over it. I did want to mention right now why you guys are just watching her work that um, we don't start homeschool until after I'm done getting ready. Um, I first off want to be near when she starts school because when she has questions and if I'm trying to like get in the shower or if I'm still in bed, it just starts off the morning rough. Now when I first did start um, homeschooling, which was kindergarten, um, we would start it even before I got dressed and ready for the day and that worked for that season in our life. But now I just feel like I'm a better mom and I'm a better human being and I'm a better teacher if I'm showered and dressed. I just feel like I can conquer the world a little bit better. So we definitely do not start homeschool until I'm ready. As far as what time we start homeschool, I'm very flexible this year. 
you know, this is all a personal choice. That's what is awesome about homeschool. You get to do what's best for your family. Um, this is the first year that I'm working full time on YouTube and trying to teach her. So I've learned just to make it really flexible and we start once I'm ready. So sometimes that's really early in the morning and sometimes it's not until after lunch. Every day looks a little bit different, but as long as homeschool's getting finished, I'm not gonna stress about it, and it always gets done before Chase gets home. So this is just one of those things, if you guys are starting out and if you're new, try it. Sometimes it works better when you do it in the morning. Other times, we've had a few years where we didn't do it until after lunch, because she did better once she had like eaten and played and gotten energy out. So I think every year's a little bit different, and so it's always gonna look different, but this is where homeschool, you know, it has its purpose and you get to do what's best for you. So she finished her morning work and it just fell that lunch happened. So we're gonna take a break and eat lunch, watch a little bit TV. And then when we head back into the office, I'm gonna grab all the supplies that we need from our hall closet. Um, this year, this is where I'm keeping everything and I'm just looking at my teacher's book and I can see exactly what I need for that day. It tells me exactly what to do and so I'm just grabbing all those supplies and then I'll take them into my office. When you order through My Father's World, and I'll definitely leave that link down below. This is not sponsored and I will not get any money if you guys purchase. This is just giving me, you, my opinion and what I think about it. But you can buy the deluxe package and it sends you everything that you need. Now you do have to add on math and a few other subjects. But other than that, it gives you everything that you need to complete that school year, which I think is amazing and that's why I love the program. Another question I get asked a lot about is having a dedicated homeschool room. And this is something that I've had a dedicated homeschool room. We've done it on the sofa, dining room table. We keep it very relaxed and I don't feel like she learned any different when we had just a room for homeschool. I did do that in the younger years just because we had a lot of crafts and hands-on activities and I liked her seeing the numbers and the letters. But now that she's older, it works just as well to grab the items we need and just sit down at my desk. But that is just a personal choice and you do what's best for you. Here I wanted to show you a clip of my actual like teacher's guide and what it looks like. So this is everything we have to do for the week and the parts that I put workbook, that was our morning work that I added in ourselves. But every day it tells you what to do for each subject and then it flips over and it'll go more in detail. So if it needs to explain something further out to you or what page it's on, I just go to Monday and look at it. It is super easy. If you guys are on the fence about it or feel like God's calling you into homeschooling, I want you to know that you can do it. It is so much easier once you get started. Now there are hard days, just like there is with anything. If you work, if you are a stay at home mom, if you love your job, if you hate your job, it doesn't matter. We all have hard days. So I want you to know homeschool, there will be hard days but there are so many good days and it's so neat to look at her and when she's reading I know I taught her that when she's starting to write in cursive it's so neat I was a part of that and a part of her education so I just want you guys to know that you can do it another question that I get asked a lot about is how long it takes to homeschool and second and third grade is taking us about two hours. The other years were even less. Um, but what you have to remember is we're not counting lunch or recess or anything like that into it. And then when I finish teaching her subject and she gets it, we get to move on. So sometimes math is so easy. I have to ask her a few questions. She knows it, she does the worksheet, and then we're done. So it really speeds up the process. You can probably tell by this point, Savannah's eyes are getting very tired. She actually started to get sick on this day. Um, we have my parents' lab staying with us and she just doesn't breathe very well when he's around. And so I think just her sinuses and her nose, she had drainage, she wasn't feeling well. So she kind of starts to crash at this point. So I want you guys to know she's not always like this tired. She was just sick and not feeling well.
right here I'm grading her math worksheet and just so you guys know I think everybody gets scared there's certain subjects that you don't feel as confident in teaching your child math is one of those that it doesn't come as easy thank goodness she understands it really well because my husband's good at it but I want you to know like in your teacher's guide like it gives me the answers and it tells me how to teach her so I'm not just left you know fending for myself it does help me along the way and then once math is done, she is finished. So she packs up her bag and takes it back down the hallway where she hangs it up. And once school is done, I have her do about 30 minutes of reading after school and then she has to read before bedtime. So that's how we do our homeschool day. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. I'm happy to answer them for you. Don't forget to head over to Becky's channel and watch her video and let her know if you're coming from my channel. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.